Good morning everyone, Mike here with a uh, build on the Constant Creative server. I'm here to show you this is my office tower. It's going to be it is the it's going to be the entry to the skyscraper contest. Um I say going to be because I'm having an issue submitting it. Whatever, even if it's not accepted in time. Yeah, I had fun making it. And now I think my town is pretty complete. Uh, there will be more things to add, of course, but uh, we'll get to those. So this is the vase of executives. It's kind of vase-shaped and uh, egg-shaped. <laughs> Joke. So there's, there it is. It's done. Uh, done as far as I think. Like the the park area around the bottom could maybe use a bit more but I think that's that's the gist of it uh, ignore the pile of sand I was measuring in fact I'm gonna go get rid of that right now hang on All right so at the very top here we got this lovely glass dome originally I was gonna have a beacon sticking out of it but uh, the beacon really got in your face when you tried to go up the uh, so-called elevator and I removed it Let's go across and I'll take you floor by floor and then I'll give you a cutaway view. So the first floor we have uh, blue and brown, so the consultants. Uh, this is for the, uh, the clients that would come in. This is a, uh, what do you call that word? It's a, it's a business. It's not a residential place. It's a uh, resident, whatever it's called. <laughs> and then the next one up is offices. These are just generic offices. The next we have executives, the higher ups, and then the atrium in uh, gray. We'll get to those. So I really wanted the first floor to be green. Um, I had, I decided I wanted to make a tower out of quartz, out of white, and everything that I added on top of it, it looked like I put white on white, and it just looked like a mess, like a bunch of pixels jammed together. And eventually I ended up with cobblestone with green, moss cobblestone, because the town is very white, brown, and green are the primary colors in the town. So that worked out very nicely. So we have uh, this lovely foyer here. As you can see, the uh, sidewalks, they are color-coded. So you just hop in the middle here and then fly up. So the first, fo first floor we have is the, exe is the uh, consultants. So you come in here and you take a seat left or right and the consultant sits there and says hi low. So this is what we can do about your stuff. And there are uh, four of them. And then little waiting area for, uh, for other people to come and read some magazines and wait for their turn in one of the uh, I should probably put up a light or something that would turn on when the consultant is ready to uh, receive visitors. Or not. That's the gist of uh, floor one. It's a little glitchy here because if you have two panes of something stacked on top of each other, Minecraft will think you're trying to pass through the wall and it'll hold you back. But you get yourself centered and you come up. Here's the uh, main cubicles. So we got a uh, skeleton head for a computer monitor and uh, railroad tracks for the uh, keyboard. And uh, I tried to <coughs> try to seat everyone so that they'd be right-handed. So using the mouse and keyboard, your right hand would go out there. So there's four there and then two in the corner so that's uh... or four in the corner so one two three four five six one eight sixteen twenty four thirty two thirty two people can work on this floor and thirty two above so sixty four people and the the offices in the side here um, a little bit less private but they are directly next to the water cooler or coffee machine if you like So. The, uh, what you lose out in uh, 
privacy you gain in a little more table space and direct access to the drinks. Next floor is the exact same, except the uh, hallway is just turned. So now we have the executive's floor. This is lovely chandelier, high ceilings, lots of light. Executives have um, more room in their office. They also have a garbage can. And so there's the mouse pad, keyboard, and uh, screen. They also have books, shelves to put their books away and and everything important, but duo tangs and whatnot. The people in the corner again, less privacy, a little bit less privacy. It's a lot more open, so not as claustrophobic. And they, of course, have the coffee machine. So I guess downstairs, maybe this is the frappuccino machine. It's a uh, photo frame with a de uh, deployer or a dispenser, and then a uh, trip wire stuck to the wall. And then next, the atrium, the beautiful, the most second most beautiful place apart from the main floor. So there's a piece of glass here, keeps you from going up all the way. Here we are at the atrium. So we got some hanging, hanging plants from the ceilings. These are varying, varying uh, heights. And then uh, mossy pillar. We got some books to read. Nice area to sit at, and you can look out the window, at the horizon. <coughs> Pardon me, and then the water from the roof is cascading over top of the uh, dome, and so you have this lovely water, this nice soothing water um, effect. And now we will look at the building in a uh, cutaway. So this is another plot. So you can see I've taken out the whole wall, so you can see just how big, and uh, see the layout of the building. So at the bottom you can see there's the uh, foyer where you first enter, then we have the blue uh, consultant's floor, then two floors of um, general employees. Uh, note the general employees and the consultant's floors are indented, an extra looks like one block so that when you're looking down over the balcony from the atrium or the executive's floor uh, you don't really see them <laughs> so they're kind of pushed out of the way because they're not as important as the red group and so we have the central shaft this is the elevator it goes straight up the middle and if you put an elevator on the side of a building then you gotta decide well which side is the front and should you have, you know, if the opposite wall is the front, then you would need equal walking distance to go either way to the elevator. Unless you put in two elevators, maybe. And this is it. This is the tower, the vase of executives. The uh, table, that's just a carpet on top of another carpet to make a table. And then each floor, the uh, the pathways go the other direction, so it looks looks cool looking down. The railings are just glass. And there we go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this this building as much as I have or do. <laughs> The top is a little, looks a little different because I had a little issue with uh, water bleeding out and taking out the carpet when I, when I cut a hole in it. <laughs> there it is. Thank you for watching. And this has been uh, Mike MC with the Constant Creative Server. Check it out if you like. Plot uh, 128 pixel plots. 128 blocks, sorry. And uh, world edit for voting. All you do is you vote once and you get world edit. And you vote twice and you can afford a plot. So it's a good server to go to if you just want to just, just build with world edit without having to 
uh, install the mod yourself. Let's set up a server for it. Good night.